How's it going everyone, it's Gadgets Boy, welcome to another video. And I've just been in Brighton checking out the latest BMW 1 Series. Thanks to BMW for bringing us out there to check out the latest car. And this 1 Series is packed with so much technology that I wanted to bring in my top five technology, my favorite top five technology that I've seen in this car and played with that made me feel like it's a car that you should consider for your next car that's packed full of technology. Let's get on with it. This is the 2020 BMW 118i M Sport Sports Hatch with five doors. It's got some new changes since the last one series. It's front wheel drive, it's slightly wider, which allows for more leg room, especially in the back. It's a little higher and longer too, and not everybody's happy with the changes, but I think it still looks nice, sporty, and BMW has striked a balance between an aggressive looking car and a family friendly five door hatchback with a lot of BMW's design DNA still there. It grills big, and I like the angles there as well. It makes it look very sporty. This version here is the Alpine white color version, but where I really want to make this video about is the tech inside and outside as well. That makes it one of the best cars, one of the best hatchbacks to consider when it comes to technology pack in a car. Number one is entertainment and sound system. It has a Harman Kardon setup, which if you've listened to one of these before, you know that it sounds fantastic. It fills the car. It can also be tweaked, so if you're advanced, you can adjust the equalization if you like to. If not, you can just do the basic bass and treble adjustments and you can go with whatever music you like, you like to listen to. You can even adjust the surround sound audio as well, which I quite like. It caters for all music genre, which is something I really like. The big display has the latest BMW operating system on there. It's touchscreen. An infotainment system comes with DAB, Bluetooth, FM. You can even connect to it via USB so you can use Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which is pretty neat and very responsive as well. The mapping system is good as well and I like the logical display system, it's very nice so you can do split screen and all that stuff. Number two is connectivity. The reason why I mention this is that BMW has included ample amount of USB ports in this car and not just USB ports, you have USB-C which brings BMW up to date with the latest smartphones out there today and some other devices as well. I mean, even the iPad Pro from Apple uses a USB-C port now. And if you have one of the latest MacBook Pros, you'll be able to charge your laptop on the move. So if you've been driven, for example, as well, you'll be able to work and charge your laptop at the same time. You also get wireless charging plates for your phone. So if you have any Qi wireless charging compatible devices, you'll be able to use it there. And I also like where it's placed because if you have Google Maps on there, it means you don't have to then invest in a separate phone holder to be able to look at your phone and drive, although you shouldn't be doing that anyway. Number three, you can share keys with others. So with the One Series, you'll be able to unlock your car with uh, some, some compatible Samsung devices out there. And if you need to share keys with your family member, you can also do so, which is very neat. It's a neat party trick, if you ask me. Number four is the safety element and the driver and assistant that's available. So when parking, you can use a reverse park assistant as well, for example. So if you, get out of a, if you need to get out of a space and you don't want to struggle to look at where you're going and all that kind of stuff. You can, you can still look for safety reasons, but at a push of a button, the car can cover you up to 50 yards so you can, you can reverse and remember your last maneuver into a space, which I found very, very interesting. It works really well. At first, I was a bit like, why would I need this? But when I was put in a position where I actually needed it, then I realized that actually this is a really neat feature to have in a car. You also have all kind of other safety elements, safety features such as lane assist, lane departure warning, front collision warning, and plenty more there as well. You can also adjust them and tweak them to suit your driving style. So in case you don't want all of them switched on, you can turn some of them on and off as you wish. Number five, the last one for me, is the heads up display and the gestures. Whilst this version didn't have the hand gesture control, uh, you can add that as an extra, which allows you to do things like change music track, pause or play, and end your phone call and so on. Another is the voice control, which works really well, to my surprise. It works a little bit like Google Assistant. It allows you to do things like ask for a location or call someone, for example, using just your voice. It just means you can keep your hands on the steering wheel and keep your eyes on the road a bit more. And it's very responsive as well. It picks up my voice very clearly. It works every time I tried it, which, again, I was very surprised. You can even adjust the name as well. So instead of using Hey BMW all the time, you can change it to something like Hey Gadgets Boy. You can do, you can do whatever you want with it. I think they're the only assistant as well, so assistant service or voice control service that allows you to do that as well, which is pretty neat. The heads up display is also very cool. You can see in all different angles. So if you're leaning to the side for whatever reason, you can still see it clearly. And it's not just a simple display showing basic information. It shows everything else. So it's very colorful. So you can see things like uh, direction, speed warnings, and you can even view your music library and change it as you're driving, which again, I don't advise you to do so, but at least you still keeps your eyes on the road, which is pretty neat. 
It's colorful, visible, non-distracting display, and you can adjust the height and so on. So that's it for the BMW One Series and the technology in there, especially the top five, my favorite ones for you guys. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask as well. And make sure you join the conversation on Twitter at Gadgets Boy. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification as well. So you'll be one of the first people to know every time there's a video on this channel. Thank you for watching. I shall see you guys in the next one.